Hey, any outing is an adventure in its own right, but to me, when I cross over into Canada, it just becomes that much more special. Hi, I'm Larry Ladowski with Midwest Outdoors, and today I'm fishing with Darren Carradine and his family from First Strike Fishing, and we're here courtesy of this guy, Jeff Moreau, from Temple Bay Lodge, who built this fantastic structure behind us for year-round fishing. It's a beautiful day in Ontario. What do you say we get out there? We got a great big crew today, and we're ready to hit the ice. Let's go. Can't wait. Let's catch him. All right. There we go. go. You got him. Nice fish. Good hook set. Yeah, you always want to reel down. Bring, them bring that slack in, because otherwise you're going to just set air. <laughs> and maybe fall over. There he is. Got a mark? Here we go. Right oh, on. there's a nice walleye. That looks like a eater, yeah. Oh man, look at that. Yeah, he inhaled it. Oh, did he inhale that. These fish are hungry today. Yes, they are. Can't Perfect 17 and a half eater size. Yep. Gonna and this, we're going to have a shore lunch. Today. Shore lunch, today. well, maybe not a shore lunch. It might be a yeah. lake, lake lunch. lunch. <laughs> Perfect. Yeah. What do we got here, Sean? I don't know. What do we got here, baby? I think you got a nice one. That's what I'm looking for. I'm looking for some. Oh! <laughs> wow! Yeah! Whoa! <laughs> well, that's what I'm talking about. Nice hook set, too, right in the corner of the mouth. Yes. This is a beautiful fish. That's what I'm after. Yep. Right there. Yeah, that is. Unbelievable. Eagle Lake, Ontario. Way to go, buddy! Yes. Congratulations. Tell me your fish. <laughs> so, Darren, we're going to set up one of the first strike rigs here. Now, these really cater to all species, right? Absolutely. We're out here on a hump and we're, we're targeting multi-species here. So we're going to be setting up two different combo systems here. On the first one for the bigger pike, we're using the St. Croix 36-inch medium-heavy Mojo Ice Rod with the Akuma ABF 30B bait feeder reel, which is uh, awesome for your big pike, uh, your lake big trout, walleyes, lakers big lake. and stuff. We get into the walleye combo, that's what we call this, is, uh, features the St. Croix Mojo Ice 28-inch uh, medium action, 20B bait feeder reel from uh, Okuma. We set these down lighter, and, and these are really good from your, your bigger panfish all the way up through your walleye. All we end up doing is locking the flag down once you get the bait at depth. The two eyelets in front of the indicator create this loop of line that just comes back, hooks on the trigger. You can set the sensitivity by loosening this uh, adjustable tensioner here, the orange nut. Once it's all set and you're ready to walk away, flip up the bait feeder. Now when a fish comes and hammers it, it's gonna pop the flag and it'll free spool so that fish can run and run. And it won't feel the bait at all in its mouth. It won't feel the bait. It gives us time to spread out like we would tip ups. So when you get there, turn the handle, it locks down, goes to whatever your front drag setting is. So you fight the fish. Yep, you Hang can fight, on. fight the fish on a rod and reel. That is awesome. There you go, set it. There you go, yeah. Oh, fishing. Boy, we were, we were just ready to have lunch, and all of a sudden this flag goes off. Way to go, Mary. Oh, hey, this got <laughs> some got bones nice to it, too, right now. Excellent. Good deal. Feels like it. It's swimming up for me. Let's see what we got. Here he comes. Nice walleye. All right. Right on. Hey. All right. Look at that golden. Ready to go right into the frying pan. I think Perfect. they're cooking right now. Good deal. <laughs> Let's exactly. get it in there. Fantastic. Perfect timing. Fish rain off. So Jeff, this is a pretty impressive fleet you got here. Tell us a little bit about it. Well, we have a couple of uh, Can-Am Defenders, 1000s, and uh, we lopped the tires off, we put the tracks on. So we can get uh, six people in each vehicle out to our ice shacks and to some of our remote lakes. Uh, but what happened this winter there is we've got a lot of snow, which pushes the lake down, obviously, and makes a lot of slush. So what we do then is uh, we downsize a little bit, and we go over to, see, like the Expedition Skidoo's here, so what we like, we get them with a wider track, with a 20 inch track. So that wider track gives you more flotation on top of the slush and uh, it's a little longer track and it's more of a workhorse, which uh, it gets you to the lakes a lot safer. Wow, yeah, that's a machine, that's a beast. Good hook set, Darren. <laughs> what do you got, some head shakes? Yep, some head shakes, not too big, but. Let me get this out of here. Boom. Not bad at all. That's another that's another eater there. Well he really chased that one. He came up from the bottom and I, I worked him and he shot right up and hammered at Temple Bay Lodge on Eagle Lake. This is this has been a dream trip for us. Crazy stuff, huh? As a fisherman we spend a lot of time dreaming about where to fish. 
We're going to be dreaming about this place for a long time after. <laughs> Just think about it. They're the only place on the lake, 60,000 acres, all themselves. It's a lot of fishing. It's spoil fishing for us for everywhere else, I'll tell you that. Oh, there we go. Oh, yeah. Find some good fish here. It's a walleye because it's going around the hole in the clockwood fashion. Bucket hoodie guy! Nice! Ah. Woo! What an absolute fantastic day. You couldn't ask for a better day. <laughs> <laughs> Sean was banging them pretty good there, Sean. Good I job. Like Weather-wise, shore lunch-wise, and camaraderie-wise. Folks, I want to thank First Strike Fishing for joining us and the Kerrigan family, as well as this guy right here, the host of hosts, <laughs> Temple Bay Lodge. I'm Larry Ladowski from Midwest Outdoors. Stay tuned, because we'll be right back, and I'll catch you later.